I'm Joanne Hunot from Crazy Fun Art, and I'm going to show you around my studio and then talk about how I turn vintage items into new pieces of art. It's upcycling. Hi there, welcome to my studio. This is a place where creativity happens. You can see I have a lot of stuff packed into this small space from floor to ceiling. I have to be super organized so that when I'm working, I can find exactly what I need. I've been going to flea markets since college, buying interesting artifacts. When an artist uses cultural cast-offs to create a new piece of art, it's called creative reuse. All of the frames and boxes and drawers I use in my work are from thrift stores. I try not to buy anything new. There's so much stuff out there, it's good to upcycle. Every box in my studio is full of different materials. Here's a box full of vintage Mickey Mouse figurines. I love to do assemblages using all sorts of Disney materials. These make great gifts as each one is a memory box full of happy times with family and friends. I have boxes of old paintbrushes and rulers. I have lots of old picture frames as well as small boxes and drawers. All are reused. I also collect vintage dog and cat figurines. Each little guy gets put in just the perfect little box or drawer and then I add a funny caption. Here is Pug Love and you can't buy love but you can rescue it. My newest work is using old cell phone cases and action figures. It makes me feel good to be able to reuse plastic items. I have Star Wars, Harry Potter, and Marvel superheroes. Fun stuff for sure. I have a huge collection of these porcelain dolls from Germany and they're all over a hundred years old. Each one of them is broken and the breakage actually happened during the manufacturing of the doll. They were useless to the factories, so just dumped in the woods in behind. Nowadays, treasure hunters will dig through this rubble to try to find mostly intact pieces. And when I was in Germany, I met the man who actually dug all of these up. I love the idea these dolls were useless, thrown out, left in the ground a hundred years, dug up, and now each one is made into a unique piece of art, upcycling at its best. Thanks for stopping by.